So I wasn't recording anything that I just said, but it is Sunday. We are heading to Starbucks. I have the newest Vogue with Amy Schumer on it and I feel like it's kind of light, but hopefully there's some good stuff in here, some substance. We are, I don't know what we have planned for the rest of the day, probably nothing. All of our friends are busy, so we're just gonna chill, I guess. Outfit of the day, go. This top is from Goodwill. These jeans, I believe, are from Savers. The shoes are from Public Desire. They're pretty comfortable. I have insoles in them. There's like a piece of hair stuck in them though. That's really weird. <laughs> it's very strange. My tote, Goodwill, got a banana, gotta get that potassium. OOTD, go. Okay, old Ray-Bans that I bought in high school. Top. Goodwill? Goodwill, I wanna say thrift store, I know that. Jeans, super, super old from Zara, but they were really long, so I just went ahead and cut the bottoms of them off today. New, or not new, they're not new. Vans, I guess, and then backpack from the thrift store that's broken. I know. So I need to find a new one because my stuff just keeps falling this out of this. This is the second backpack from the thrift store that's broke, but they've held up for a very long time. Yeah, but now I have to find a new one. We've been in the chip aisle for like five minutes trying to pick out chips. Well, they don't have any more of the lattice cut lays, which are my new favorite. So we're home right now and I'm gonna go ahead and make some pasta salad. So basically, you're just gonna wanna first cook your pasta. Bam, this is supposed to take seven minutes. Our Aunt Bev makes bomb.com pasta salad and I haven't made it in a very long time so I thought I would go ahead and do that today. It does take a little bit because the pasta does have to chill once it's done being made but I'll show you guys the rest of it in just a second. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut up the vegetables. All I'm using are carrots, a red pepper, and frozen green peas. You can use whatever you want to be completely honest, but I feel like all of these kind of have a good crunch and flavor and texture. So we're just gonna cut them up into bite-sized pieces. So I like to cut everything and put it directly into a big mixing bowl. I don't have a Tupperware container that's big enough to mix everything in. So I'm gonna use this really big nesting bowl and then we're going to add in the ranch. Okay, so now the final step is to just mix everything together. I have all of my cut up carrots, peppers, and peas. And then I just have my chilled, uh, what is it, rotini, I think it is, the pasta. And then I have the ranch, and we're just gonna mix it all together. And then finally, we're just gonna mix everything together. If you're going to eat this right away, then you can just serve it out of, obviously, the serving bowl. Um, but if you're not, I would suggest covering it or putting it into another Tupperware container because it can dry out if you just leave it open like this in the refrigerator, which is a mistake I've made before. So I'm going to transfer this into a little Tupperware container and we'll first serve myself some and then put it away. <laughs> So it is around 6.30 right now and we are going to rent the Holy Stokes video, which is the Volcom skate video. So Melissa's been wanting to watch this for a while. I told her she couldn't actually buy it. So she's going to rent it off of iTunes. We'll see how it goes. I've never actually rented anything or bought a movie off of iTunes, so. Yeah, me either the first so it is around 8 15 and we just finished holy stokes it was really good it was better than i expected the music was really good the skateboarding was obviously awesome and then the drone footage was beautiful the only thing i wish they would have done was added the cities the locations where they were in the actual video because some of them I was like, where was his shot? I have no idea, it's gorgeous. Um, we are gonna go for a walk right now. I mentioned in last week's vlog that I've been having some issues with my back and it's been affecting my legs. It goes from being really unbearable when I'm sitting down or laying down or even standing and then sometimes I feel like my legs are really restless so it's a mixture of both I'm not sure what's going on we're gonna go see if I can just walk around a bit to kind of 
help my legs, I guess, maybe stretch out. I've been, it's not been the best day for me. I've been kind of stretching and laying around and not doing much. So I know that Pokemon Go has taken the internet by storm. We actually went to the park last night and how many Pokemon did you catch? I caught nine at the park. Nine. Oh gosh. For everybody that was saying that my complexion is really good in the last vlog, I had like a crazy breakout. I've got like this Melissa. cyst on my right here that just is, doesn't like me right now. Oh no. Okay, get it. Okay, hold on. That wasn't even close. Go. What? What is you this? You all my Pokeballs. I'm sorry. A bit closer. Come on, come on. We are going to film our Q&A Tuesday right now. Um, we set up, well, we really didn't set anything up. We just moved two chairs and brought a light out because the lighting in our entire house is really bad. But some of you guys were asking about Janie. Hi, princess. Hey. Oh, so cute, looking so cute. So we just finished filming the Q&A. It took forever um, because we didn't charge the camera battery. We forgot to charge it and it just kept dying. That's like the number one pro tip that any YouTuber probably already knows is to have extra batteries or just charge your battery in general. We also now have to do a thumbnail because we would have forgotten and then tomorrow we'd have been like, uh-oh, we don't have a thumbnail. Who's fault is it? <laughs> we would have gotten a huge, huge argument. <laughs> We are horrible at taking pictures together. We can never get the angle right. Uh -huh. We're like, we take a picture and we're like, yeah, that one looks, looks good. Great. And then one of us is like, and then the other one's like, <laughs> but then most of the time we're both like, <laughs> most of the time we're just like, we're like, mm -hmm. like thumbs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thumbs, straight up thumbs. <laughs> So we left the house because we needed to go by the store to get a red pepper. They didn't have any red peppers or peppers in general when we went by Wally earlier, which is kind of weird. Um, but on the way, we decided to stop at Panera. And somebody asked last week why we get free drinks at Panera the whole month. Well, basically all the Paradises are becoming Panera's awesome. So we signed up for the Panera card because now it makes sense since there are two nearby us and you get free drinks for an entire month. You don't even have to buy anything. You can literally just go in there and get a free drink. Hello vlog, it is Tuesday and as you can tell I'm home. It is just about noon right now and I got off of work at 10 this morning. I wasn't scheduled until two like I usually am, which is kind of nice, but I'm back to my normal schedule on Friday and then just after that, everything is back to normal. So I went to Panera, got myself a green tea since I do have free drinks for 30 days. And I'm also uploading our Q&A, which will be scheduled to go up at two or three. I'm not sure what time exactly, but by the time this vlog is up, you will hopefully have already seen it. It is much later on in the evening. We did not end up going to the Ghostbusters movie. Not a big deal. We are on the way to Macca's so I can get a drizzy, and then we're gonna go home and watch, what's the show called? Hmm. I don't know, it's either Gracie and Frankie or Frankie and Gracie. I don't remember which one. Fake fan. Hello vlog, it is Wednesday. It's actually been a really good day so far. I got up and went to the gym for a while to do just some light workouts, stretching, steam sauna. Last night I did um, beginner's yoga, but I feel like it made my back even more tense today. I have a doctor's appointment. I'm feeling a lot better actually. So maybe it was just like a really bad back spasm or something, but yesterday we put up our Q&A Tuesday and I'm like looking through the comments right now and I see this. Rachel commented on our video and Weston, oh my goodness, I'm so excited. They're two of my favorite creators, like content creators in general. So for them to comment on our video is so huge for me. I actually met both of them a few years ago at Magic, the trade show, but I was kind of like in awe of them. So it was really like, oh my gosh, they're so cool. But also something that I didn't mention in that video, um, the Q&A, Weston made this really, really, really amazing um, 
video i think it might be on that sheik's channel but it was all shot on an iphone of their trip to i think it was vietnam and it's amazing like every time i see that i think oh my goodness you can do so much with an iphone i feel like i don't use my iphone to its fullest potential so so we came to sprouts here's what we have in the car some oranges strawberries parsley kale and spinach another cauliflower because they're on sale red bell peppers and then the fancy medjool dates that I like are also on sale and I think Punk is going to pick up a muffin. Which one is it you like? Vegan super fruit. That one is really good. There we go. That's good lighting. Uh, we came to Panera. We are using the free drinks for a month every, every single day. day. You got a drink yesterday. She's getting another drink again today. Yes. Free drinks. It's awesome. Punk got her usual. And then I, they gave me a free drink too. I got the acai berry. So we just got home from two stores, but we are also going to go buy fries because they did not have any ripe avocados at Sprouts or Food City. And Punk wants to make a um, Chipotle inspired bowl. So at Food City, I picked up a papaya. This one's pretty small. It's not all the way ripe. And then Punk picked up four mangoes for a dollar. They have Wednesday only deals and I think that was one of the deals. Um, at Sprouts, I picked up, I think this is organic kale. They only had organic kale, but it was only 99 cents. I'm trying to make my own at home version of the Nectar Sublime. It's like $6 for 12 ounces and I found a recipe that is supposed to be similar. I know everything they put in it is just like fruits and vegetables so I thought I could make it at home. It said that they use parsley so I put that in there as well. If if you work at Nectar or if you know somebody, tell me if this is the recipe. Three oranges, they were 88 cents a pound. Um, a handful of spinach, a handful of parsley, a handful of kale. So I picked up all of those three. And then half a cucumber and one lime. I already have the lime, so that was that. Picked up some medjool dates. They were on sale for only $5.40 something. They're usually like $6.99. So that's a good deal. More oranges. Punk picked up some red peppers because they're two for a dollar. I don't know why the red peppers are always more expensive than any other pepper. I feel like it's just the color. And then, oh yes, so excited. Cauliflower has been on sale for the last few weeks everywhere, which is great. I've mentioned this before, I prefer the fresh cauliflower as opposed to frozen. So we picked up a little small one. And then strawberries are finally on sale again. I was surprised that nobody had strawberries on sale during the 4th of July. That was like the one thing that nobody had on sale. This whole two pound was 198, so it's a pretty good deal. Other than that, that's everything else. We're gonna go buy fries really quickly to see, hopefully they have ripe avocados. If not, we're gonna call it a day on the avocados. We have to catch up on Pretty Little Liars from yesterday. Yeah, that's basically it. My doctor's appointment went well. I have to go tomorrow for some routine blood work and that's it. My doctor thinks that I just sprained something or pulled something in my back and that it's not anything serious but she does say that it could take at least six to eight weeks to feel normal again so yeah she didn't see anything abnormal everything else looked good so it appears that i am healthy i'm watching qvc right now it's in the kitchen with david that's always on wednesdays i made my green juice it's it's a bit thicker but i only used one orange because the oranges are so big but i think it tastes pretty much like the the sublime from nectar it's really good so i'm forever wearing sunglasses now outside because I'm starting to notice the fine lines under my eyes and Jeffree Star says that one of his beauty tips is to wear sunglasses because you have to protect the area around your eyes. Yesterday overall great amazing day. I don't know why the vibes were great all day. I'm also wearing this Zara top. I'm sure you guys are already tired of it but it was in our favorites video because it is honestly a favorite like I love this top. If this top came in 
numerous colors, I would buy it. It fits perfect. It's off the shoulder, which is really trendy. Sometimes I feel like it's a little low, but I love this top. I will continue to wear it. I'm apologizing in advance. When she just walks over to the passenger side. So it is around 3.30 and as you guys can maybe tell, <laughs> I got ready to film a video that we were supposed to be working on. It's a thrift haul, but i just having some massive pain in my legs again and really bad numbing and I tried to do some stretching and just nothing was working. I made a follow-up appointment to see my doctor again tomorrow so I can probably have some x-rays done just to make sure there's really nothing seriously wrong with me because I don't know, I, I'm having a really hard time with this pain because I know that it's going to take some time to heal if it's something, you know, due to my sciatica or anything. It could be a sprain, like my doctor said, it's going to take time to heal, but I just want to be better right now and that's not what's going to happen. Punk suggested that I just relax right now and sit down and take it easy because the more I do stuff and I'm not even really physically exerting myself, the, the more tired that I become. So she's actually making me another green smoothie right now or like a green juice. It came out more like a smoothie. But I started watching Pretty Sweet. Um, this is the chocolate and girl video from like two years ago. And oh my goodness, is it amazing. Like the first just like six minutes into it, you can tell this is cinematic gold. I read a lot of reviews where everybody said this is like one of the best skate videos that they've seen in a really long time. And yeah, it is. I feel like one of the things in these vlogs is that I want to remain transparent but I also don't want to be like a downer. So sometimes when I'm not feeling the best or when other things are bothering me, I try to omit them because I don't want to be like a Debbie downer, but this has been bothering me for probably the whole week. So not sure what time it is right now. We are headed out so I can go and get some new insoles. I've needed some for a while and since I haven't been really productive today at all. I mean, I did get up early and go and have my blood work and all of my other tests done and that was like a great start to the day. I felt really good. Somehow I also managed to do my eyeliner pretty well too and I didn't even end up filming. But also the um pretty sweet video solid like 20 out of 10 i said that it came out in 2014 but it actually came out in 2012 so that makes a lot more sense as to why some people look really young yeah so these are the insoles i am going with um i usually get a pair of soft sole but these are a different style these fit better in my shoes and they're really nice arch support they're a bit pricey but i think definitely worth it <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. So a few of you guys have asked if our hydro flask was worth the investment. I totally love it. The only thing is I always spill water on myself. So I'm going to get this cap, which is an extra $7. And mine is a $30 water bottle, which is probably only the only downside of it. Yeah, kind of expensive, but it's definitely worth it. So we are here and we are looking at houses. Hello. This is like one thing that we always oh, love to do. Sorry. I would stop talking because I knew you were recording. Oh, well, whatever. She, no. She was giving like some top secret thing. stuff. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm just looking at houses right now. This is trash, though. No, Real this, was, this one is trash, apparently. Perfect. Update. This bitch does not have pot holders, so. Um, just. If you guys would like to donate to um, Fair, give them some pot holders, pans, that'd be great. Didn't burn my fingers. A fire chip pizza. A barbecue Hawaiian pizza. That's fine, guys. I'll just keep cooking. Oh, is she gonna help me? Seth? Oh, oh, no. When you're a nosy um, house guest, what do you need? I'm looking for the ranch. I don't have any. 
have any. There's two types of mayo. Two types of mayo, including this. Who has this? All right. Um, let me know if you have this. Also, don't kiss. <laughs> It smells pretty good. Probably. Thanks. I made it myself. You made it from mm -hmm. scratch? Yeah, with my pizza oven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This. You're easy babe. <laughs> Hello vlog. It is Thursday. Actually, it's Friday. What? And it is 4 o'clock right now. Um, we got off of work. I got off of work later because I had to go by my doctor and that was a whole ordeal in itself. It took way longer than it needed to so I had to stay later but that's all good. Right now we are going to watch the King of the Road season finale. I think I already saw a spoiler on Instagram. Somebody posted something and it was just like actually a caption not even a picture so I'm like... Uh, I don't want to see any spoilers. Um, I think we might go to a movie later. We might go and see Ghostbusters with um, whoever wants to get together and go and see it. So we're gonna watch this right now. So we decided to skip the movie tonight, but we came to Green to grab some food. Punk got her usual fries, the Thai peanut bowl. And of course I got my usual, the spicy po' boy fries and all of my lovely sauces. How's the food? Good? Solid? Can we just talk about Justice releasing their first song in, what, five years? And announcing an album? Oh my gosh, I was so excited when I saw the single was on um, Spotify this morning. I was like, yes, and it's so good. I love when an artist or like a group doesn't say anything and then they just like release something and you're like, oh my gosh, this is like instantly going to be good without fail. Justice has never done me wrong. Tonight we are going to continue to watch Grace and Frankie. Sorry, I didn't know the name of it because I didn't watch it, but it's actually really good. We're on episode five. So funny. How do you like the show? Do you like the show? I was gonna do. It's so good. Hello vlog. It is Saturday. I need back. Hold on. Back, back. Hold on. We're trying to work together here. Okay. Oh, 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 oh sorry. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> It is Saturday today, and yesterday we went to Green, obviously, and then came home and watched four episodes of... Three. We watched three episodes of... I can't Grace count. And Grace and Frankie. It's actually really good. Oh my goodness, guys. Check out this Coke truck. Hopefully, we can pass it, but you guys can see it. It's so cool. It's a Coke truck with Coke on it, like Coke bottles. Oh my goodness, yes. There it is. I'm trying to get a picture of it, too. Oh my gosh, yes. Punk's making some juice right now. No, this is what you get. It's like a puree type Oh, thing. well, I mean, you have to start the blender pretty low and then work your way up to the higher speed. Well, I made the juice earlier this week. <laughs> this is a bad angle, but the lighting is really bad right now. But somebody keeps throwing all of this trash outside of the trash can. And it's literally stuff they could donate. It's actually not trash at all. So here is what we found out by the trash. First one is just a picture. Well, it's not a picture, obviously. Um, it looks like a painting. And then these two, you really like these? I think those are really cool. The colors are so nice. So we have started filming. We are doing a thrift haul, but we are trying to do it different. I know that a lot of you guys like the old thrift hauls where we would sit down and really poorly hold up the items. Um, so we're going to try to do a part where we talk about the item that we purchased and then also like a part where we show what it looks like on and how we would style it. So I thought we would be able to do the whole entire outfit in the shot and you guys would see my shoes, but I don't think we're going to uh, get that in the whole shot, but like huge plus right now, I put my insoles into these shoes and they fit perfectly, which is great because my other insoles are five and a half to like an eight and a half. I don't know, I guess you're supposed to cut them. 
but I never did. And they don't fit in a majority of my shoes, whereas these are a five to like a seven and a half, and they fit perfectly in almost all of my shoes. So Those are five six. Oh, okay, so they're a five six. So they fit perfectly. These are way better. Third time is a charm, am I right? We're am going to I quickly right? go to Panera so I can get my free drink. Also take a thumbnail for the vlog tomorrow mm -hmm. and then come back, chill. I'm gonna make dinner and then I'm gonna work on putting together the thrift haul for tomorrow and then the vlog afterwards. And that's basically it. So I am currently editing and also watching Christmas in July on QVC. I'm a huge sucker for stuff like that because the holidays are my favorite time of the year. So I love watching them present everything that's related to Christmas, even though I'm not going to buy any of it. Also, I'm editing this video and it's funny because for some reason, I guess I forgot that I bought a maroon polo, a velvet maroon polo a while back and I was like, I don't think I've worn a polo since high school. And then I saw the polo in my dresser drawer and I was like, oh, that's right. I also have this other polo. So don't mind my appearance. I have spot treatment on my face, but once again, it's the end of the week. So I have to end this vlog. And thank you guys so much for watching as always. I don't think I say thank you enough for the endless amount of love and support you guys give us. Um, quick thing about next week's vlog, we are leaving Thursday for LA and we are coming back Sunday. So I'm not 100% sure when it will be up, if it'll be up late Sunday or if it'll be up on Monday. Make sure you're following us on Twitter for any updates. We will keep you posted there. Have a wonderful week. I really hope you guys just have a great week. I have to stop. I'm tired. I have to go to bed. I will see you guys later. Bye.